Let me start with a question. Has a hole in the ground ever been a memorial to anyone? Yes, uh, we actually do it all the time. People that are buried and have a headstone. Does that honor anyone in any way? Uh, the person that died. What would be significant about a hole in the ground that would honor someone? I've got a thought. Revelation 9-11. They have his king over them, the angel of the bottomless pit. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think there's two holes at the 9-11 memorial. His name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but in Greek he is called Apollyon, Apollo, the king of the bottomless pit, the angel of the bottomless pit. So you might honor a king of a pit with a hole, right? Probably not, because if we're talking bottomless pit, it's probably not a hole. It's not a hole where the building used to be. Oh, excuse me. I meant holes where the buildings used to be. Apollyon is not king of the bottomless pits. Bottomless pit. So how do we tie in Apollo, New York, and 9-11? Let's look. You don't, but I'm assuming that you're going to. The Statue of Liberty. Why, JT? That's a lady. Technically, it's a statue. It's not male or female. No, it's not a lady. I think she's also referred to as, what is it? Oh, Lady Liberty. That's a man. I'm going to show you that it's a man. But we don't call it male liberty. It's Lady Liberty. Apollyon. Look familiar? Yeah. It's the sun god, Apollo. The illuminator. The light bearer. The light bringer. Does he got horns? No, uh, it looks like the sun shining behind his head. Yeah, those look like horns, right? No, I, I just said no. It looks like the sun. Well, that's pretty significant, since Lucifer has all those same descriptors. Lucifer isn't even really his name. The Hebrew would be Halil ben Sahar, but when it was translated into the Latin Vulgate, they used Lucifer. Lucifer is not a name. But anyways, are you trying to say that Apollo is Lucifer in your mind? Yeah, I wonder if there's a coincidence. There's no coincidences. Let's take another look at Apollo, or sometimes they would call him Helios. Helios is the son of Titans, Hyperio and Thea. Apollo is the son of the Olympian god Zeus and the Titan Leto. Check my boy out over here now. Leaving no doubt now. Oh no, there's, there's still plenty of doubt. Looks a little different with the robe open. You're talking about different gods here. This is Helios, the sun god in Greek, who was later replaced by, you know who, Apollo, Apollyon. Yeah, no doubt now, huh? And guess what? Apollo also had a sister. So you've said Abaddon and Apollyon, they're the same, the god of the bottomless pit. They're known as the god of destruction. And then you switch to Apollo, saying that he's the sun god. And then you said Helios is also another name for the sun god and is the same god as Apollo. So before you move any further, maybe you could clarify which gods you're talking about. Abaddon and Apollyon? Yes, they're, it's just a transliteration of the name. Apollo? There's dispute on whether it's the same god. But Helios is definitely a different god. They have different parents. They don't have the same beginning. A twin sister, Artemis. So Apollo and twins, huh? Twins. I'm confused as to why you think the Statue of Liberty is a man, but yet they're twins. Lady Liberty looks like a female. Why wouldn't you just say it's Artemis? That would be more believable, I guess. Interesting only one of them has a spire on the top, huh? Because it's a broadcast antenna? Like why would they need two right next to each other? That wouldn't make sense. Male, female? What kind of buildings do you look at that are male and female? Maybe. Uh, no. Now let's go back to that memorial. Oh, that's right. There's not one hole in the ground. There's two. Yeah, those two buildings fell, and they made a memorial where they stood. You know, before they fell. Twin holes in the ground. So is that Artemis and Apollo? Uh, no, that would be building one and two. Call me crazy, but I don't see a penis on one of them, like you saw with the buildings. Or is that Apollyon and Abaddon? Apollyon and Abaddon are the same. Does it matter? I don't think it does. What I think matters is Revelation 9-11 and who Apollyon becomes. 
he becomes the Antichrist. And where did you come up with that? And with all the New World Order talk associated with this day, what I find significant is we're almost here and the pit is open. I think you misspoke. You mean the pits are open because there's two. I think you're trying to make connections where there aren't any. Not everything is a conspiracy.